Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to show you how you can do DSing with Melda plugins. I'm actually going to show you five different ways, and that's because there's no Melda DSer or MDSer or anything like that, but there's lots of plugins that can actually do this, so let me show you how you can do it. So I have this little vocal sample here, it sounds like this. Here, I'm going to try to reduce the sibilance of this sample. She sells seashells by the seashore. So we're going to try to reduce some of those S sounds, which I'm doing right now. <laughs> I probably need to use a DSer on this, but whatever. I'm going to kind of do a little bit too much here just so you can hear what it's doing. Uh, so it might sound a little bit dull, but of course you can adjust all this to taste. What we're going to use first is M Compressor. This is the free one that comes with a free bundle, but you have to maybe pay a few dollars to unlock it. But you can go ahead and do that if you want. Now we have the default settings here, but there's actually a DSer in here. So click on this, DSing. I'll show you the difference between this is default and this is when DSing is on. The most important thing here is the side chain. Now this is going to cut off everything under about 2,500 hertz. And if you want to hear what this is doing, all you have to do is just listen to this and click this little speaker button here. Here, I'm going to try to reduce the sibilance of this sample. She sells seashells. So that's what we're hearing and that's what's going to be reduced. Since this is a compressor, it's not going to target the high frequencies, it's just going to duck everything whenever they play. Now the output's a little bit low here, so when I turn this off, I'm probably going to raise that up just so you can hear it a little bit better. Here, I'm going to try to reduce the sibilance of this sample. She sells seashells by the seashore. Now as you can hear there, I'll loop this. This is actually reducing it quite a bit, but just so we can hear it, I'm going to reduce it a little bit more. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 She sells seashells. Now I did a, quite a bit of reduction there, maybe a little bit too much there. And I'll turn it on and off. I tried to level match it, the input and the output, and I'll just turn it on and off so you can hear it. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. So this is one way you can do this. Obviously, you can mess with these a little bit more if you want more smoother sound, maybe. I did a bit too much. I'd probably reduce that threshold there. Just so you're not doing quite as much gain reduction. You hear a bit of pumping there. And I'm just doing this just so it's very clear what's happening. Uh, you probably want to use more subtle settings for an actual recording. Now, next, let's move into M Dynamics MB Large. This comes with M Dynamics MB. So if you have this, you can easily do it. Uh, I'm not sure if there actually is a DSer in here for this, but we can use this DS. Just like before, what we're going to do is reduce a certain frequency band. So this first band here, don't need to do anything to it. So we're just going to turn the processor off. Next one, the highest band, let's turn that one off too. And let's just use the middle band. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that into an area where we think we might hear some sibilance. So we're going to solo it here. We're going to play it. And just listen to what's happening. We don't even need this on yet. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She okay, so if I think that is the area that I need to reduce, what I'm going to do is just maybe drop the attack here. I think the release is fine. Everything else is probably fine. And we're going to use the processor here, and we're going to reduce this. Make sure we have a ratio here. Maybe. 4 to 1 or so is good. And we're just going to reduce the threshold until it's reducing the gain here. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells sea. Now I'm moving it down quite a bit. If you think like, oh, I don't want to move it down because there's not such good resolution down here, what you can do is you can use the temp gain and that will kind of move the gain up and then move it down. So you're not actually going to increase the actual gain in volume, but it will push more through this compressor like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. 
She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. So now let's put it all together and let's hear it. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Now it seems okay, but maybe let's just reduce it a little bit more for the sake of the video so you can hear it. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells. And of course, you can move the frequency band to cover more or less area, depending on your personal needs. So of course, adjust this yourself, but I'm just showing you how you might go about doing it. So hopefully that gives you a good idea there with M Dynamics MB. Let's go to the next one. We have M Auto Volume. I think I probably showed this before in another video, but it was a long time ago. So let's do it again. Uh, this one is a little bit more difficult, but if you already have this, I'll show you how to do it. So we have this, we're gonna switch this to disabled. We're gonna turn this output down because this could get loud. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is just click listen. I'm gonna turn this high pass up and maybe the low pass too, to just kind of zero in on the sound. So this is gonna be the detector. And when it's actually playing, you're not gonna hear this, but this is just what the actual detector is going to be hearing and what it's going to respond to. So let's do this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She oh. Another thing, make sure you turn it on. Here we go. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, that's what it's listening to. Make sure I have that output down. And now this should be following it. And it should actually turn the look ahead up. It should be reducing at S sounds. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 She sells seashells. Sea now that's reducing it, but just a little bit. I'll do the bypass and uh, unbypassed. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 She sells seashells. So you can hear there's quite a difference in as far as brightness and S sounds go. This reduces it. So that's a way to do it if you have M auto volume. Let's go to the next one. And what we have is M auto dynamic EQ, or actually in this case, M dynamic EQ. This can be done with M dynamic EQ or M auto dynamic EQ. So whichever one you have, it can do it. So this one also has a few presets here. So if we have this DSer here, this will do this automatically. And it has a few different uh, settings here. We can move it around if we want. She sells seashells by the sea. Again, got to remember to turn it on. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. It also has some other ones, like for example, three bands or even three band aggressive here, like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells. So if you hear it there, if I move the gain all the way down, it even gives me kind of a lisp there. Uh, you can do this yourself if you want to just do this manually. Just take one of these and use the auto listen to find where that sibilance is like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. I'm hearing it there. Then just right click this node here, gain down to zero. And we have all this stuff here. Oh, what we want to do is I usually try to look at the threshold and try to move the threshold where I hear the S's like this. She sells seashells Actually. by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells 
by the seashore. She sells. Okay, I'll move the dynamics all the way down. And then from there, actually, I might turn the RMS length all the way down too. And what I can do is, if I feel like I'm not getting enough gain reduction, I'll probably turn up the level gain like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 So as you can hear, it's reducing it quite a bit. There's also some other things too. If you think like, oh, maybe it's happening in octaves, we can use these harmonics here like this. And what it'll do is it'll create a harmonic an octave up like this, which hopefully you'll be able to see. I'll turn up the Q value so it's more obvious. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She like that. So there's lots of things you can do with this. If you don't want to go through all that and do it yourself, just use the DS or three bands aggressive. That's the one I like. And as I said, you can also do that in M auto dynamic EQ. But last but not least, we have M spectral dynamics. This one actually has a deesser right here as a device. So let's hear that deesser, and we'll turn up the amount. She sells seashells by the seashore. 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 She. Okay, so as you heard, if I turn it all the way up, it's giving me a, a bad lisp. Uh, so I'll show you exactly what it's doing in here. If we look at the edit screen, it's just doing this with the threshold. Now you can do this yourself if you want to do it manually. I'll show you quickly. Just use a default here. Uh, you can set the attack and release to whatever you want. Should be fine. And what we're going to do is use the threshold here. And you see, it just looks kind of like a, a line here. Just add some notes here by double clicking, maybe here and here. And, ooh, actually one here. And just bring this down here. And you see, this will follow our threshold, which we have set here like this. We can set a ratio, whatever we want, maybe two, four, whatever. And as we move this down, it should cut out these frequencies here. And you can use these nodes to create whatever type of shape you want. You can move them forward, backwards. You could even put like multiple uh, nodes in here. So if I think, oh, okay, like I want it kind of here, but I want like a deep node here around like 4,000. You can do that if you want. I don't think it really needs that, but if you think it does, you can do that. So let's listen to this. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Here, I'm going to try to reduce the sibilance of this sample. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells. So you can hear it, it's reducing it quite a bit. If you do it too much, you're going to get a lisp sound like this. Here, I'm going to try to reduce the sibilance of this sample. She sells seashells by the seashore. She so you may not want to do that much, but that shows you how powerful this is. So if you're interested in more of this, let me know and I'll maybe do another video on this, but I think this is probably enough. And this gives you an idea of five different plugins that can do DSing using Melder Production. I'm sure you probably have one of these, so you can go ahead and do that. And if you found one of these interesting, go ahead and pick the other one up too. All these are really powerful and they can all do many other things besides DSing. So if you have any questions, leave those down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this and check out all the other plugins at melderproduction.com. Till next time, see you.